we're going to talk about what you need to know about PHP FPM configuration, and specifically the Max Children config setting. Okay, so what is PHP FPM? PHP FPM sits between Nginx and your application, right? You have Nginx accepting a web request. Nginx passes that request off to PHP FPM via FastCGI, a protocol. And then FastCGI creates a process, a PHP process, that runs your code. The problem is that PHP FPM creates a process to serve one web request. Each process, each child process that PHP FPM creates can run one web request at a time in the serial. That means to handle concurrent requests, you have to create multiple PHP FPM processes. There is a setting, max children, that limits the total number of processes the PHP FPM process is going to create. That means you are limited in the number of concurrent requests that your application can handle, sometimes artificially before your server is even out of resources. If we send a ton of requests over to our web application, and then tail the log, in this case, var log, php 8.2 fpm.log, the log that's uh, monitoring php fpm, we'll see that our server is spinning up processes and when it hits our limit, 20 in our case, that's the max children, then it's gonna run into an error and all of a sudden we'll see gateway errors over here, right? This is probably work, but um, a lot of times, a lot of users will see gateway errors because Nginx got an error back from php fpm. php fpm just said, I'm at my max, I can't handle any more requests. All right, so how do we fix this? How do we set max children to a proper value? I have a server here. This server here has four gigabytes, which is roughly 4,000 megabytes of RAM available to it. To figure out what setting to set max children, I'm gonna take my 4,000 megabytes, I'm gonna divide it by the number of megabytes that each web request takes on average. And here I'm just gonna guess like 50 megabytes, but you should figure that out yourself by using like PHP's peak memory used uh, function or monitoring your application with something like Datadog or Sentry, New Relic, something like that, that can tell you the megabytes used for every request on average. Now, 4,000 is the max number of RAM my server has. I probably wanna put a buffer in there so I don't use all of that RAM up by PHP. So I'm gonna do 3,000 megabytes, or three gigabytes, divided by 50, and that is going to give me, uh, what is Warp gonna say here? It's probably gonna be 60 processes, right? Uh, great, cool, thanks Warp. So 60 is gonna be the max children that I am going to set for um, for PHP FPM, right? That means 50 concurrent requests at a time. Now the concurrency isn't exact because requests usually take just a few milliseconds and um, concurrency, uh, things usually happen a little bit uh, staggered, right? They're not all the exact same millisecond. They're just milliseconds off typically. And that means that you actually can handle more concurrent requests than the setting because, um, you know, it's not all the truly the exact same millisecond that those requests come in. So. Uh, I'm gonna set this up to 60, and you might wanna adjust other settings as well, like start servers and spare servers. So the start servers is the number of processes that spin up and are just idle waiting for requests when PHP FPM starts. And then as those gets used up, right, if there's 10 processes being used by 10 concurrent requests, then it's gonna start creating spare servers to handle uh, extra incoming requests. So minimum and maximum spare servers, I just did five and 10 in this case. And then the only other thing I set was two, kill a process after it handles 500 web requests and then it'll restart it. So that just helps with memory leaks. So save and quit that. sudo service php 8.2 fpm restart to suck in those changes. And if I redo a bunch of requests here, I'm gonna do 25 at a time and send 10,000 HTTP requests to this server here I have running. Um, it'll actually be a lot harder to run into this error, right? It's actually, uh, I think gonna have enough child processes to handle this traffic load just fine. I don't get any errors here at all, right? Perfect, okay. One more additional tip before we finish this video. You will typically see this issue, this error, uh, gateway error of hitting max child children when some bottleneck in your server is slowing down your website. This is almost always the database. The database might get overloaded, your web requests to your application are going to slow down, and then you have a pileup of requests coming in as the new web requests come in, right? You might not even see a spike in traffic, but your um, database usage might go up, slow the database down, all of a sudden your server is contending for resources between database and the web server, and uh, web requests pile up, and then they hit this max children error and people just get errors all of a sudden on your website, that sucks. So the biggest tip, the uh, biggest optimization you can make is to get your database off of your web server and onto its own dedicated server. Then you can increase your max children setting a lot on your web server because you're not uh, competing for RAM and CPU resources on that one application server that has your database, your Redis, your PHP application, and all the other stuff going on at the same time.